course, that's how to come, didn't I? You did. <coughs> oh, is this for me? It's beautiful. Thank you. It's nothing. <laughs> oh, wow. What? Uh, your house just looks so much classier than mine. Really? <laughs> well, what's your house like? Oh, it's just this little cottage on the edge of the forest. Well, don't you have magic and spells and all that? Why don't you do, use that to make a nicer house? You could be living like a king right now if you wanted to. The, the, the cottage is really all my family needs. Plus, it's not up to me. My parents want to keep the family uh, humble. <laughs> that reminds me, I brought the book. <laughs> Do your parents know? Uh, they don't have to. Fine. What happens when they find out? Look, well, they won't. If they found out I had it, they'd ask what I needed it for. It, and if they found out I showed it to someone like you, someone like they, me, normal. Great. Thanks. You know what I mean. We're different. <clears throat> I'm odd. I can make things happen with my mind, but I think hard enough, you're normal, and I think that's even better. You're less of a danger to yourself and everyone around you. I have to constantly monitor my thoughts, because if I feel too much, there's no telling what could happen. I spontaneously set fire to a, to a house, or start a flood, or, or worse. It's a burden I wouldn't wish upon anyone. All right, I get it. Come on, don't be mad. I'm here. Get out the window. Isn't it beautiful? All the stars shining on through the night. You see that one? The dim one? Right, to the right of it. That's your star. What are you doing? Look at it. Oh my god, it's enormous! <laughs> How did you do that without the book? Oh, the book is just like uh, training wheels. In case you don't know the thoughts or emotions, you need to put into your mind to make things happen. Oh. <laughs> Eileen, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. You're about to fall asleep. I should go. I shouldn't have made you stay up this late waiting for me. No, so Bond, that, that's not it. I just haven't got a lot of rest lately. What is it? It's nothing. Oh, come on, what is it? I've been having nightmares. Nightmares? About what? Your parents. My parents? You haven't even met them. Well, they're not your real parents. They were these aberrations in my dreams. They had pale skin and, and hollow eyes and, and throbbing veins across the whole body. There was just something malevolent about them. And every night the same thing happened. We're together, you and I, and, and all of a sudden those things are there with us. They just get closer until I can feel their breath on my skin. I can see their hearts pounding, their whole bodies pulsing. This feeling takes me over, this feeling of hatred. And I realize, every night I realize, all over again, that that's just what they are. They're hatred. And every night they try to get to it, but I won't let them. I try to reject them, but they just get closer. And last night it started. They started fighting. They were trying to eat me. Wow. <laughs> Got one screwed up mind. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's just an old scrapbook. It's got a lot of baby pictures in it. That's me. <laughs> what were you doing? That one? Well, it looks like I was at the pumpkin patch before Halloween. That was my favorite place to go as a little kid. My parents would take me every October and I'd play around the patch. I pick up the biggest pumpkin there and make my dad carry it to the truck for me. Then we'd go home and carve some silly face in it and follow it out to put a candle inside and leave it out on the front porch for everyone to see. Hey, why don't you bring an old photo album next time so I can see some baby pictures of you? I don't have any photo albums. Really? Your parents didn't keep one? Nope, never took any pictures. None? Yeah, I don't really have any warm memories of my family. Yeah, the only one I get along with is my little brother. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, you know, your dreams actually sounded like pretty accurate descriptions of my parents. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're not exactly the accepting type. Well, what would they do if they found out about us? I don't know. <laughs> don't worry, I wouldn't let them touch you. <laughs> why do they hate people like me so much? Well, why do your parents hate people like me? The same reasons. They won't take the time to understand that not everyone is like them. 
So your parents think I'm a witch, and my parents think you're powerless. Well, if you stop and think about it, aren't they right? Not at all. Just because our minds are different doesn't make either one of us better. It's how you use what you were given. Well, what was I given? That's something you'll have to find out on your own. But you and your parents were given so much. They seem to think so. They think people like them should run the world. Oh. Yeah, uh, they're sort of insane. So I guess you really don't have any good memories of your parents. Nope, never exactly have seen eye to eye. Well, what about your brother? You said you two get along. Yeah, he's really my best friend. Do you at least remember some of the good times you had with him? Oh, yeah, he, he's my go-to guy when I need to talk to someone. Uh, there's this really big pear tree. It's right next to our house, and its branches grow above the roof. Uh, so me and my brother, we, we'd sit on the roof, and we'd talk, and we'd pick pears. And let me tell you, there's nothing like the taste of pears right off the tree. There's nothing about me he doesn't know. Does he know about us? Oh, uh, well... I thought we were going to tell anyone! I told him a couple of nights ago. I could see bed of roses from up on my roof, and I know those are your favorite flowers. Uh, eventually, it's all I could focus on, and it just sort of spilled out of me. You okay? I'm fine. <coughs> well, what's this? <laughs> Baby bath pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, uh, ooh, oh, oh, God, um, this is gonna sound really tacky. What? <laughs> I enchanted the rose so that as long as our love is alive, the rose will be too. <laughs> that is tacky, <laughs> but thank you. Oh, I should go. Oh. <coughs> but I'll see you tomorrow, same time. Yeah, same time.
the earth shaking? Yeah. The earthquakes must be getting worse, huh? I don't know. It's also gradual. I can't really tell. Mm. Well, uh, we don't have to talk about that right now. Uh, how was your day at work? Fine, I guess. Same as always. People come in, they buy their clothes, they leave. Just how it always is. I guess that thing doesn't really change much, huh? Oh, come on. You mean nothing interesting happened to you at, uh, at all? Well, a bunch of people went berserk because some rats came up out of the basement during the first earthquake in the morning. One lady in stiletto started running from them and she squashed one with her heel. You could probably hear its bones breaking under her weight. Of course, she fainted, and guess who was bestowed the honor of cleaning it up? So, I pulled her out of the walkway, got rid of the rat, or what was left of it, but there's still a little rub of shape stain in the carpet. What about you? Have you been here all day? No, uh, I just got back from work, too. My day really hasn't been all that eventful, either. I mean, not much can happen to you when you're sitting behind a desk. <laughs> you know, I, I always just wanted to be normal. But now that I've seen what it's like, it's, it's just not all it's cut out to be. I mean, it's just so repetitive, you know? Yeah, there was no excitement at your office over the earthquake. Excitement? Well, every time it happened, all of the computers would shut down and I'd lose all my progress for the day. Mm -hmm. So if that's what you call excitement, then, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> but I mean, other than that, it, not really. People just you know, don't seem to pay much attention to them anymore. They've become so common over the last few days that people barely notice. Yeah. Did you get to listen to the news at all today? Did they figure anything out? Actually, I did. That thing up in the sky is all they're talking about. They're still not quite sure what it does. Is it still pulsing? Mm hmm Like a heartbeat. You know, they think that that thing up there is directly related to, to all the earthquakes somehow. Oh. <laughs> and I tell you, that thing is ugly. <laughs> you know, I heard someone say the other day that it looks like a, a huge black tunnel. <laughs> yeah. It does. <laughs> really? Really? And look at those those varicose vein looking things just jutting out of it. I swear it is something straight out of hell. <laughs> <laughs> I got to listen to the news a little bit too during my lunch break. I heard some of them saying it's getting bigger, it's getting closer to us. Some of them were saying... Saying that what? They were saying that at the rate it's growing, soon it will be big enough to envelop the planet. Hey, come on, they don't know what they're talking about. Doesn't that sound just a little far-fetched to you? Well, yeah, but this whole situation is far-fetched. Earthquakes every other hour, a giant void up in the sky, what else could it do? Look, they're just pulling this stuff out of their asses. <laughs> come on, it's their job. <laughs> Can't they get rid of it? Can't you use a spell or something? No, it's, it's tied to someone. I mean, the only way to get rid of it is for that person to, to die. We're going to die. Die. It's wait, sort wait. of like the apocalypse. Look, like I said, they don't know what they're talking about. No, well, Look, they're just guessing. They don't know what they're saying. Why do you always try to protect me? It's like ever since we started dating, all you do is try to protect me from the truth. I'm a grown-up August. I know the truth. We don't know how long we have left. We could all be gone in a few days, and we probably will be. Hey, look, I didn't realize that I was, was protecting you from the truth. Look, I just feel responsible for you because, hey, I found you wandering out there all alone. Look, I didn't mean oh, to no. do... I'm not mad. I'm sorry. It's okay. I remember how vulnerable I was when we first met, walking around cold and hungry, no idea where I was. I didn't even know my own name. I'm really thankful for all you've done to help me when no one else would. You even gave me a name so that I would feel normal. Well, I am normal. Generic. But you made me feel... Like I wasn't that lost, tired girl, so frail, the wind could carry her across continents. You made me feel good. Well, uh, I'm glad. <laughs> and now I get to spend my last days with you. Actually, that's kind of what I wanted to, to talk to you about, Belle. You see, we've... Look, we've known each other for, for quite a long time. My now. whole life! <laughs> what I can remember of it. <laughs> yes, uh, we have. <laughs> anyway, you see, now all of... This is happening, and look, I just want to spend the rest of whatever time I have left with you, whether that be a day or a hundred years. 
And I, um, <laughs> look, I've been trying to figure out the right way to say this for so long. Say what? Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Working. I don't understand. How is the ring supposed to work? Doesn't it just go on your finger? No, 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 no. Look, I bought this ring special from a man back home. See, look, the little orb is supposed to light up when you put the ring on the finger of, of someone who's, uh, someone who's in love with you. You don't love me, do you? August, it's a ring. It doesn't know everything. But look, it was enchanted. It doesn't mean no, it's... No, look, it, Look, it all makes sense now, though, doesn't it? Look, I didn't feel anything when I said that I loved you, and you, you would just, you would just smile. <laughs> I mean, I thought that smiling was your way of saying it. I, oh my God, how the hell was I so stupid? I'm not stupid. No, no, I am. I really am. August. No. No. This is my fault. How could it be your fault? Well, <coughs> you've been in love before. What? I've known you for longer than you remember. You, you were in love with someone who was very close to me, but... I, I'm sorry, I, I, I can't talk to you about this. Why not? Look, El, the reason that you can't remember anything... Yes? ...is me. You? I was stupid. I, I, I ruined everything for this. I don't know how I could have believed myself for one second, but I, but I did. Look, I thought that I could get you to, to fall in love with me by, by doing what I did, and it, it didn't work. Look, I ruined everything for this. I was being selfish, but I was in love. What's my name? Oh, please. What is my name? I, I don't want to say. But I want to hear it. Here. Uh, this is yours. these years? Look, I put in my own entry in the back explaining what happened to you. I, I just wanted you to have this in case anything ever happened to me because, because you deserve to know the truth, Elf. If I deserve to know the truth, then why did you keep it from me? You weren't trying to protect me, you were trying to protect yourself. You wanted me to love you so badly that you would lie, cheat, and deceive me until your wish came true. Look, El, I'm sorry. You're sorry? You're sorry? Look, August, I'll forgive you someday. I don't know how, but I will. I will because I don't want to spend the rest of my life consumed by hatred. Goodbye, August. Bye, El. <coughs> I love you.
day, we're weak. I need more water. Of course. Here you go. No thank you? I've allowed you to live with me. That should be thanks enough. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you mad. I was kidding. Thank you for letting me live here with you. After my parents were killed, I thought I'd be alone for the rest of my life. Then I found you again. I remembered how we used to play together when we were younger, until I graduated and left. I thought I would have nothing to return home to, but you were there. Even in the state you were in, you helped me when no one else would, and I helped you in return. I got something for you. I'll go get it. <coughs> this is for you. Uh, what are you reading? The spell book. Why? Why are you still reading that thing? I'm looking for a spell. Well, I know that. What spell? I'm looking for a way to return to the past. Why? Why do you think, Ophelia? You know the answer to that. It's that girl, isn't it? Yes. Why do you spend all of your time thinking about her? What could she have possibly have had that consumes your mind all day and night? You stay up flipping through the book until dawn, looking for some way to bring her back, or to end your suffering, or to get even with someone. <coughs> Why can't you just leave that behind? I'm here with you, and she's gone. You may very well find the spell you were looking for, but it will all be an illusion. You'll see some image that looks like her, but it won't really be that girl. She's dead. You can't keep living in the past. Do you see what it's done for you? You don't sleep, and you lose your mind, and it's because of that girl that you created the void in the first place. Now we're all going to die because you're so miserable. And why shouldn't we? What? Why shouldn't we die? How could you say that? People try their hardest to be to good To be in this good? What exactly do you call good, Ophelia? <clears throat> now let me ask you. Do you recall the history of people like me? And how we've been treated by normal people? Or how we've treated them in return? An entire history built on burning people at the stakes and sadistic revolts. We deal with one another using violence and hate. Now tell me, Ophelia, how good does that sound to you? Not everyone is like that. I wandered the earth for years in search of that girl. Suffering sickness and hunger and pain, and not so much as a single soul stopped to help me along my way. A wayward teenager on a hunt that would yield no bounty. And no one would waste a minute of their time on anyone beside themselves. Avarice and selfishness are in man's nature, stemming from the evil planted in our hearts. They're in my nature and in yours. So yes, we deserve to die as well. I don't try to hide my sins from anyone. And I'm not trying to punish the sin or only stop more sin from happening. There's only one way to do that, and I've found it. I don't know how much longer the void will take, but soon there will be no more sinners and no more sin. I haven't opened it yet. Why did you get this? I don't know. I was walking through town the other day and I saw it and I thought of you. Why would you want to get me something? Because... <coughs> well... I love you. What? I love you. I have since we were younger. I just never told you before and I thought that... I don't know. Well, what is it? What did you think? That you loved me too. That I loved you too? Do you, you remember too? when we were children? I was 13 and you were 14. We had been friends all of our lives because we always liked to play outside in the forest together. We had that little spot we would visit every day by the creek. We'd use sticks and leaves to make little fishing rods. We never caught anything, but it didn't matter because we were having fun. I remember one day while we were fishing, I fell into the creek and you pulled me back up. I was soaking wet and sobbing because I knew my mother would kill me for ruining the new dress she had just gotten me. 
But then you show me a spell that you learned that could clean me up. When you said that spell, it's almost like I could feel the magic running up my spine. And I just looked down and there was no more mud or water. Just the new pretty dress, even more beautiful than before. And then again, when I was 16, I remember I was crying by that stream. And when you got there, you asked me what was wrong. No one cared but you. You let me cry on your shoulder and talk to you. I, I thought that had to mean something. I was trying to be a good friend. And after what happened when I met you again, I thought that surely that would have made you love me. I was in a dark place, Ophelia. I know, and I helped you out of it. When I got back, I knew the first place to look for you was by that creek, and that's just where I found you. I saw you there, and I saw what was in your hand. You were standing in the middle of a creek with a gun pointed into your mouth. I'd come back because I wanted to see you, and if I hadn't knocked you out and dragged you back here, where would we be now? And while I was here helping you recover, I realized how what I was feeling. It was love. Ophelia. And I thought that maybe you felt the same about well, me. Listen to me. Maybe not now. But, but I didn't. At some point, but I don't. you must have felt so. Listen something. to me. I never loved you. I never felt a thing for you. I, I, I tried to be kind and be a good friend and that's it. And no, you saving me from death wasn't some great miracle. Look where it got us. It's what put that void in the sky. So the world can thank you for its destruction. Um, you still haven't opened it. What is this? It's a locket. Open it up. There's two pictures here. It's me and you. Yeah. Do you like it? It's nice. I'm glad you think so. Can I ask you to do something? What is it? Kiss me. What? And if you don't feel anything, I'll leave. Oh, feel it. Please! Just once. Okay. Nothing. I'm really sorry about everything. Goodbye, Vaughn. think I'd ever see you again. Well, what's wrong? Look, I need your forgiveness before we die. Forgiveness? For what? For Elle. For Eileen. I don't think I understand. This is all my fault. You've trusted me. Look, I was the one who told Father that you and Eileen were going to run away together. Why? Yeah, look, I... Why? I'm sorry, I can't Tell me say. why, August. Tell me. Because I loved her. And I loved you. I couldn't stand to see you go. You were my big brother. Your plan worked brilliantly, didn't it? All came to a happy end because of you, August. I'm sorry. Well, say that all you want. It won't change what happened. Sorry won't fill the void. Well, where's Eileen? I don't know, she... She left me. <coughs> left? You mean she was with you? Yes. And you didn't tell me. 
You never bothered to seek me out until the day the world was coming to its end. I thought she was dead. I thought our father had killed her. No. He erased her memory and doomed her to wander the earth for the rest of her life. But I searched for her until I found her. And I did. And no one had helped her. That was the worst part. She always had such a kind soul. She was always helping those in need. But when the time came for someone to return the favor, no one did. All because of you. I'll leave. I'm going to find her. Hold on, if I could go back. You can't! So go.